Okay, so I have my setup out here in front of my driveway. I have my camera here and my 124 scale DeLorean model. I used a piece of canvas for paintings and we put sand, glue, and we sanded it down to create kind of an asphalt road-like surface. I measured it out and the camera is one foot away from our DeLorean in the foreground. So we're gonna take that one foot, so one times 24, which is the scale of our DeLorean, and you're gonna get one times 24 equal 24 feet. So, which means that's where our street needs to be in relation to the DeLorean. So as you can see, I put a tape measure out and I ran it and as it goes about to the end of the road, that's about 20 feet. And another four feet would put us probably in the middle of the road, which works out perfectly. So it's kind of a trial and error. You kind of got to eye it out. But for this particular circumstance, it worked out really good. So that's kind of the formula you, you use to determine how far away your background needs to be to match up with your foreground element. And you see that I'm trying to line up the horizon of the road. All right, there. Try to frame it up kind of so it's kind of like that where see that horizon kind of ends where the actual road ends and the, the grass begins. And also when you see cars going by, I have a nice reference point to see if they match. So let's say we wanted to use our 15th scale model here. So the setup would be we would do the recalculations of 1 times 15. So for this model, our background would need to be 15 feet away from our foreground model. So instead of it being 25, 24 feet away, we would need to bring this setup to about, up about 10 feet to about right here, then have the door in here, then set up our camera. So it's nice to have different scale models because you never know kind of the setup and the angles you're gonna get at a certain location. And personally, I think using the 124 scale model is better here because I'm further away from the road, it's a little less crazy and hectic, I'm off in the shade, and it's just a more comfortable shooting area. And also, with my 124 scale model, I have the ability to do a little bit of animating if I wanted to, uh, do some frames of it like peeling out or just going across the frame. With this road texture, I wouldn't be able to do much with this 15 scale model. So it's really nice to have different scale models when you're going out doing force perspective because you never know the angles you're going to get and the different setups and looks. And also, I'm not sure if you saw this, but I also put a little white piece of paper for the line on our road in the very, very foreground that's kind of out of focus. So that kind of adds another level of dimension to the, to the shot where you can barely make it out, but it kind of adds to the illusion. So that's how uh, we we change the scale to match the background.